What's up, Internet? It's your dumbass Panicos Gaming, and hey, we're finally back. Uh, so we're gonna start working on Galarian Weezing today, cause, well, it's the next one on the list. So here we go. See, it's been a few days since I, uh, more than a few days since I streamed. I don't remember when the last stream was, actually. Um, it's been a minute, though. I just, I, uh, I've just been burnt out. There's not really any way to get around, like, the, any, any way for me to bullshit a different ex explanation for that, but that's what it's been. So, we'll see. I think, honestly, moving forward, I've said this a couple times, I've also changed my mind on it a couple times, I think I'm going to step back to doing just three days a week, just the weekend days. Um, I did, I know last couple of streams I talked about my uh, work schedule being bullshit, and kind of fucking with uh, being able to do that. Uh, I do have that resolved. So that won't be an issue really moving forward. I told him, you know, if there's really weird shit going on, I can I can work later, but it can't be a regular thing. So we do have that resolved. So I think just Friday, Saturday, Sunday, those are going to be the stream days from now on. At least until... Uh, well, either A, until I'm, like, not as burnt out, or more likely when the, uh, when Scarlet and Violet come out. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, not much has been going on. I, I just haven't wanted to play Pokemon, that's a big thing. Also, there is the new, um... There's an update for American Truck Simulator. I know I brought that up last last time I streamed, or one of the last times I streamed. Um, they finally announced the release date for the next DLC for that, so I've been kind of going hard on that. Um, I have every DLC wrapped, or every um every achievement wrapped up except for the Montana DLC. I haven't even started yet. <sighs> Here we go with this shit already. Let's see, what is, um... I don't know what coughing looks like. Okay, so basically the same as Cantonian wheezing. So, like, blue with purple clouds. Obviously, you can see the, um... Galarian coughing right there. Or wheezing, rather. It's just more, um, brown than the normal one. Did I really not clean any of this out? Uh, we're not gonna go terribly late today, so... You can just move these up into this box. Don't really care about them. Move these so they don't hatch. So yeah, we're only gonna do about like two hours today. There we go. Oh, uh, but yeah, so I've been working on ATS. I've been working on... I want to say I've done a bit more Mass Effect since the last stream. I don't remember, to be honest. Probably not. The other thing is, uh, I actually went back and downloaded Forza Horizon 5 and Need for Speed Heat recently. Because I've played... Obviously, I mean, I played Horizon 5 on stream. I haven't actually played any of it since I downloaded it. I, like, I turned it on for a little bit to uh, mess with the livery stuff. Uh, and then Need for Speed is Heat as well. Uh, because my buddy with the Mustang, I'm hopefully helping him with some design stuff. Not like, and not like a cool-ass livery or anything, just some, like, really basic stuff. But I wanted to download those just to, uh, help myself a little bit with that. Um, so yeah, honestly, for the most part, it was kind of pointless to download those, because I ended up just photoshopping a lot of it, just like downloading pictures and then making a rough position, nothing anything, you know, nothing good, just enough to give a general idea of what I've, what I wanted to plan for it.
but yeah, I mean, other than that, just, uh, just trucking sim, which is, it's a lot of fun. I like that game. It, I'm already back at the point now where I, um, I make a whole lot of, whole lot of money just by resting all the time and just letting the other drivers that I've hired do everything. Which is really good, because I'm also at the point where I'm just, like, trying to go really fast, so I keep on wrecking. <laughs> Which is really bad. If you're paying attention at all, it's not too hard to not wreck, but I'm just... Like, I'm, you know, instead of going the speed limit, I'm just going as fast as possible and not stopping in time for shit and all that, so it's... But it's fun. Um, which I know sounds weird to describe a game like that as fun. I do enjoy it. Uh, I haven't really played Power Washing Sim in a little bit. I need to get back to that at some point. Being that I've been kind of all hands on deck with Truck Sim. Because the new... Um, so the most recent DLC was Wyoming. And the next one out is Montana. And that comes out on the 4th of August. So yeah, I have... I only have one achievement left on Steam that isn't... Um, that isn't the new ones for Montana, because they do, um, they update the game with, like, the new achievements quite a while before the new, uh, DLC comes out, actually. They've had, um, all the achievements listed as, um, as hidden achievements for the last couple of weeks, which is usually the clue that it, there's gonna be a new DLC soon. Um... But yeah, so I got those. Or I got everything but those, because then, like, a couple days ago, they... I think probably at the same time that they announced the release date, they, uh... They took those off of Hidden, so we can see what the achievements are. You just... Obviously, the DLC is now, yet you can't do them. Um... And the only thing I have left for Wyoming now... Is... Uh... The one for, like, ten cattle deliveries, which is kind of a pain in the ass because there's only it's like to a couple specific spots and other spots don't count and all that nonsense it just kind of sucks to try and do which is a shame oh i didn't see what's the hatch rate for these okay same as ponyta cool but hopefully maybe i can wrap those deliveries up by um by the 4th, we'll see. I'm kind of considering doing a stream of that. We'll see, though. Maybe I'll do, like, one stream. We'll see how it does, and then... If nothing happens from it, then... Oh, well, we just won't do it again. But yeah, I think once that wraps up, I will... Honestly, the funny thing is, I might not even play that much the new DLC. Because I just, like, I won't feel like I have the pressure to play it really soon to get all the achievements again. I do like having all the achievements in that game. It's been a little bit since I've done it. But I remember after the, um, after the Arizona DLC, DLC, uh, came out, it was a free update. And I think it's basically part of the base game at this point. Because the base game, originally, it only had California and Nevada. And then... They were like, okay, we understand this is way too small, so we'll give you Arizona for free. And then after Arizona came out, they basically went, hey, so yeah, the game is like way too small right now. Like in terms of the scale of the world, it just like, it was just way too small. And it really was. I didn't really mind it too much, but it was definitely a thing where like I'm playing it. I'm like... Yeah, I should not be able to get between these two destinations so quickly. Obviously, you don't want it to be, like, real scale, because that would be very boring. Which I know sounds insane to say about a trucking simulator, it being too boring. But, I mean, trust me, it's a, it would be a thing. But it's, um... Yeah, no, it, it was just way too small, and they realized that, and so they were like, hey, before we even make a paid DLC, we're just gonna go and redo the entire map. Or not redo, but just make it a larger size. And then they've started being 
For a while, they were a little bit more consistent. I think the COVID stuff really slowed them down. Because it seemed like after New Mexico, we started getting stuff pretty rapid fire. But yeah, anyways, after the Arizona stuff came out, I actually went through and got all the achievements in the game. And then since then, I've been kind of sporadic about going back to get them. Last time I had all the achievements was Idaho. And then when Wyoming came out, I just... I, you know, I got Wyoming when it came out. I just never got around to it. Uh, but yeah, we have Montana coming out, which I think was actually announced after Texas was. But obviously Texas is Texas, so they're going to take their sweet dear time. I also might be wrong about that. It's very possible I'm just misremembering. But anyways, yeah, so we know Montana's coming in, what, four days? Texas is coming at some point. We have no any time frame on release date for that. I can't imagine it'll be before the end of the year. I am a little bit surprised that's taking so long for Montana, but like, <laughs> you know. Again, COVID issues and stuff, so I'm not, not too worried about it. But hopefully they pick up the pace, too, because, like, you do kind of have, like, you know, another two-thirds of the United States to knock out. Also, I have zero idea how they would even consider approaching um, Alaska and Hawaii, or if they even do. But yeah, we'll see. So I'll probably, once uh, once my tan is out, I'll play it a little bit, and then I'll probably hop back into Power Washing Sim. And then hopefully pretty soon here, once me and my, uh, again, my buddy with the Mustang, once we decide on how he wants to approach that thing in terms of design, because we are going to kind of make it um reference Resident Evil a little bit because he's a big fan of that franchise, and I sent him a design the other day. Just a very basic thing. I, I say design like it's anything. Um, but just something kind of braced off of... Braced? Based off of Umbrella Company. Or Corporation. Corporation, that's the name of it. Umbrella Corporation. Um, but yeah, so he's really into that, so I was like, okay, well, we can work with this. Because I'm also doing all the, or a lot of the shit with this car. Like, I put the exhaust on it a couple weeks ago. And a couple more weeks here, we'll probably do the, um, the intake and a blow-off valve on it, because it's the EcoBoost. Which, yeah, I know, it's not a V8 in the muscle car, but also the EcoBoost is actually pretty cool. Though, as I've dug into it, it's also, uh... It's not going to take a whole lot more power before it starts breaking shit, so... But that's fine, because he's not going to do anything but bolt-ons anyways. Or if he decides to, he's going to have to commit to having an engine built for it, because... The uh, stock EcoBoost is not the greatest. But some of the, like, other... I guess I should say the stock Mustang EcoBoost is not the greatest. Some of the other ones are actually, like a little bit stronger. Not even a little bit, like a good bit stronger. Um, just because, like, the way they were designed. Um, but I don't think he's going to get that hardcore into it, because that kind of stuff is kind of expensive. So, you know. And as much as I would like to think I would be able to do anything like uh, building a motor for him, because like, for the most part, you know, it's just wrenching on it, right? There's not a whole lot of fabrication with some of that stuff, with the motor, with like the block and stuff like that in and of itself. There'd be some fabrication probably for like, you know, turbo manifolds and exhaust and stuff like that, but that's also the type of stuff that's like, all right, well, just send it out to have someone else do it. But 
Even if I would like to think I could do a lot of the wrenching stuff, it's probably outside my skill set. You know. At least for the time being. But yeah, hopefully I need to stop being lazy and actually like send him another another example for that stuff to see if he uh he's gonna be in for some of the design stuff. And then uh Yeah, hopefully then I can uninstall Forza and Need for Speed Heat again. Because that stuff takes up a lot of hard drive space, and I honestly really don't care to play through those games again. Okay. Really did not mean to hit boost there. Hold on one second, let me, um... Yeah, there's a good bit of delay there again. I fuck it, I hate Elgato so much. I can't- one day I cannot wait until I get rid of this fucking game capture. It is... It's possible there could be a, a different issue with OBS or something, but the fact that if I use the Elgato game capture for more than, like, a couple minutes, it gets, like, at least a quarter second out of sync on audio. I just wanted to check, because it was, like, it seemed weird that, like, it seemed like before I was even out of the menu, I was boosting on the bike there. So I just wanted to see if there was some weird lag issue going on. I don't think it was any more than normal, but still. But, that being said, I say I want to get rid of the game capture, but honestly, I think for the time being, until something else breaks, I don't think I'm touching anything else with this computer. Just because I would like to save money for a little bit. Especially with, like, Pokemon coming out soon, and that's going to be at least $60, more likely 120 because I'm one of the idiots that keeps on buying both copies. I say keeps on buying both copies of the game, but it's... I've only done that once, but I there's a good chance I'll do it again. Though, in related news, they still have not said anything about pre-order bonuses for Scarlet and Violet. Actually, they haven't said anything at all about the new games yet, besides what we already know. Which... I guess isn't too surprising, because, like, we still have quite a while. I mean, it's August, the game doesn't come out until November, so... And, like, it's Pokemon. They really don't need to advertise. Like, at least in terms of, like, trailers and stuff, they don't need to do a whole lot. They just need, like, some TV advertisements before November and they'll be set. But... Uh, I just want to see what, like, all the gameplay shit's gonna be like. I specifically, like, I want to know, is there going to be anything like raids or Dynamax adventures or anything like that? We know there is some co-op. Not even some. I mean, the whole game, in theory, can be played with other people. Um, but, I mean, we don't really know about that yet. But I mean, we know there's, like, open world co-op, which is cool. But I would like to see something like raids come back. Hey, what's up, Lung Stores? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I want to know more about the games. Because I'm excited, which is a rare thing nowadays for me to actually be, like, excited for a new game coming out. I feel like the last time I was, like, really excited was Horizon, Forza Horizon 5, and, like, I also kind of knew that was just going to be more of the same. I just was ready for a new location to play in. I mean, other than that, I don't really get hyped about games anymore, because it's like, eh, so often so much of that shit is disappointing. And if you get overhyped for it, then it's just, like, kind of guaranteeing disappointment. But, I just can't help myself with the new games coming out. 
new Pokemon games anyways, I should clarify. But yeah, we got, uh... Four months until the new games are out? Or like three and a half? Because, yeah, they should be... I forget, they do have like an exact release date, I believe. I believe it's middle of November somewhere. I don't remember the exact day. I could probably make a guess, though. Let me see here. Uh... Seventeenth, maybe? We'll see. Seventeenth of November, that is. I could also just look it up and that would take me just as much time, but you know. That would make sense. How many eggs we got? Alright, we'll go a few more circles here. If she doesn't spawn an egg, then I'm gonna have to take them out of the party so they don't start hatching too soon. Hey, what's up, Skeleton? Welcome to the stream. Okay, yeah, let's pull these out before they start hatching. How am I? I'm doing all right. Just working on a... Uh, trying to get a shiny, glaring wheezing. Actually, I guess I have a wheezing as the picture, but I'm working on coughing anyways. Either way, that's... The goal is to make it into a glaring wheezing. The goal is before, um... Before Scarlet and Violet come out, I would like to have every Galarian form Pokemon. So stuff like Zigzagoon and, um... Well, wheezing, stuff like that. Try to have all those shiny before the new games come out. I kind of wanted to get um, all of the Gala like new Galarian Pokemon, so stuff that like like the new stars, all that stuff. Um, but I kind of started on this a little bit late, and I realized there was no way in hell that was gonna happen. Yeah, it was nice to, uh, get all of the new Hisui Pokemon knocked out. So everything that was added in, uh, Legends Arceus, plus a lot of other stuff as well. I got a lot of the trade of, pretty much all of the trade evolutions, at least the ones that were in that game. The only thing I'm missing is the, uh, Porygons, and that's because there's not really a good way to shiny hunt them in Legends Arceus. Just doing Dynamax Adventures for Shinies, it's a good way to do it. One in a hundred odds is pretty hard to beat, especially when you have four opportunities with every full successful run that you do. One day I'll go back to Dynamax Adventures. I just... I got so fed up with the incredibly stupid AI that it's just, I can't I can't go back to it right now at least not until the new games are out so we can see if there's going to be some sort of uh, equivalent in Scarlet and Violet you don't have a shiny yet uh, how many adventures have you done? because I mean ballpark numbers, it should be like one shiny every like 25 Dynamax adventures that you do. Which is not too bad. The big thing about Dynamax adventures is they take a while to, uh, to do. Because, I mean, they can take, you know, up to like 30 minutes, honestly. Like 10 to 20. Okay, so not too bad yet. But yeah, don't worry, you will get shinies with it. I've gotten 
a bunch with it. Probably not as many as I should have, actually. I'm probably still below odds. Or above, or worse than the odds should be. Might be the best way to say it, but, um... But yeah, I definitely got a lot of random stuff with that, which was nice. And a couple I was actually specifically working on. The Shiny Hunt Moltres... Kyrim or Entei? Um... I forget what typing... Kyrim is. Is it Ice Dragon? But Moltres would probably be, like, the easiest one, because it has dual typing and it's gonna be turbo weak to rock. But, I mean, whichever one you think has the coolest shiny. I don't remember Kyrim shiny off the top of my head. I don't think Moltres or Entei are too interesting. Ice Dragon. Uh, I'm trying to think what's even good against that. Is there anything that would be times four uh, effective? Because I know, like, you know, a lot of flying dragon types... Ice is the go-to, because it's just gonna wreck them, but... Hiram has a little bit of pink on top? Okay. Yeah, I don't think, uh... I don't think too highly of Moltres Shiny, because I think it just turns, like, kind of pinkish. Entei Shiny is okay... So yeah, I'd probably go with Kyrim, but it, I mean, it depends on... Are you doing, um, adventures with AI or, um, fairy and fire or something? Well, I mean, you kind of need... Fairy would be a good choice against anything dragon, just because of the immunity, but... Just, is there any, like, single type that would be times four effective? Like, um... Like rock against Moltres, because rock is two times against flying and two times against fire. With AI. Uh, maybe do Moltres then. It depends, are you planning on getting like all the shinies or anything like that? Because yeah, in that case with the AI, the easiest one would just be Moltres. Just because you can grab a rock type and hopefully just beat the crap out of it. And kind of remove some of the uh, AI stupidity from the equation. I say hopefully, because there's not a whole lot you can do there. Oh, the AI. That's one thing about, like, I hope there's a raid or a uh, Dynamax Adventures equivalent in uh, Scarlet and Violet. But God, if the AI is as bad, I might not care at all. Not sure, just kind of want your first shiny at some point. I mean, any shiny legendary is going to be pretty cool, so... It's hard to go wrong with any of the choices there. But yeah, Kyrim would be the cool factor, and... Um, I think Moltres would probably be the easiest of them. I'm sure Entei wouldn't be too bad, but just being a single... Uh, just being fire type without any secondary typing, it just, it makes it harder to do more damage against it. Because that's part of the issue that I had before I kind of gave up on it for the time being is a uh, Suicune was just, like sometimes you would go on like a streak of like five or six in a row where you would just smash through it super easily. And then other times you would have like five or six in a row where you would just... You couldn't even get it down to half health before you get knocked out of the adventure. It's just the... There's so much about the Dynamax adventures that is just completely out of your hands. Between just, you know, the randomness of what Pokemon are going to spawn. And then also... The, um... Just how utterly useless the AI is. Sometimes it makes the right choices. Most of the time it, like, makes the worst possible choice. And it's just like, why? That is, like, the single best thing that can happen for Pokemon, I think, at this point, is just have a better AI. 
because they'll make battles more interesting. Like, just, you know, having your opponent AI be better, it'd make raids and stuff better because you can actually have any control over it. Like, raids aren't too bad because you just bring in a super overpowered Pokemon and smash through it, but... I mean, like, that's not really the most interesting thing to do, you know? As much as I like games being easy, because I have better things to do than beat my head against the wall for 30 hours to beat one opponent, hence why I'll never touch any of the Souls games. That's why you usually leave healers to AI, because they just spam heal. That's not a bad strategy. The problem is, then your healer, at the worst possible opportunity, will be like, Hey, let me take this... This Pokemon that's going to be weak against the dungeon boss, or the adventure boss. So now you don't have healing, and you have a AI partner that's going to get O-Code at every single possible opportunity, and not do any damage. The number of times where I have gotten screwed over because it... Just the AI just takes a Pokemon that it never should have even considered. It's just like, why? Had, had that happen loads? Yeah, it's... God, I want to like Dynamax Adventures more than I do. There's so much potential there. Just, again, like... I don't mind the Dynamax Adventures being difficult. I just want to have any ability to control my own destiny and not have the AI just do whatever the hell it wants. And it's just like, well, you're on for the ride. Have fun. But hopefully, being that they're pushing more for co-op in uh, Scarlet and Violet, it looks like, hopefully we'll have something pretty good in that. By the way, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Also, I hope that they do Dynamax Adventures again. They have some way for you to bring in your own Pokemon. I get they kind of had to not let you bring in your own Pokemon because, again, raids, you pretty much just smash through them with a level 100 Dracovish with Vicious Rend, and it's just, okay, it's already over before you begin. But, like, again, the reason for that is because the AI sucks. So if they make the AI not suck, maybe we'll be able to, you know, bring in our own Pokemon because it kind of feels silly to have a game about catching and training up your Pokemon. And then, like, you have this entire mode where you can't bring in your Pokemon in any way. Like, if they want to do it like, uh, online stuff where you get level cap to level 50 or whatever, like, okay, that's, you know, that's at least semi-acceptable. Just, you know, let's use our own mods. But we'll just have to see. I gotta imagine there'll be something soon in terms of, like, new information coming out. Because it's been, like, a couple months at this point. And I want to say I saw something on Reddit where there was... There was some sort of, like, little minor thing that came out. I think it was, like, a promotional material was sent to a store or something. And people were kind of trying to line that up with the timelines of, like, the other games. To see kind of where we were with when we might see more, uh, more information come out. Clicked random legendary by accident, now you're fighting Sogalio. Sogalio is an interesting shiny. I don't particularly like it, because it just turns very, very red. But also, at least it's like an obvious shiny. 
not like Gengar or uh, Garchomp or one of those ones where it turns to a slightly different shade. Also, I believe Dynamax Adventures are the only way to get a shiny Sugalio. Because I, I believe it's shiny locked in Gen 7, so I believe that's the only way to get it. I like Tornadus. Is Tornadus not a good, uh, or not an obvious shiny either? I think that seems like I remember seeing that. Yeah, it's a shame there's some, like, not good shinies. As much as, like, I don't like all the, like, puke green shinies. Like how, uh, Weird Ear, or not, uh, oh yeah, and Weird Ear, but like, uh, Stantler and Weird Ear are. Where it's like, uh, like, yeah, you can tell that it's, um, you know, shiny, but like, it's not very good looking, but I'll take that over most of the not obvious shinies. There's some that I like more. Like, um... Dusk Noir, I believe. It's, like, not super obvious, but the the gray turns more black. And, like, the accent colors turn more gold, which is pretty cool. Turns darker green and gets a bluer tail, yeah. Of course, then there's stuff like, um, the Togepi line. Actually, I think Togepi is fine, but, uh, Togetic and, uh, Togekiss are, like, the only difference between them. Their normal form and the shiny is that the blue and the red, like, triangles just, like, swap. Which is, like, makes perfect sense why that would be how the shiny is, but also, like, well, why? <laughs> like... It's... you can't tell. It's just another one of the ones where you put them side by side. Unless they're put side by side, I should say. You just cannot tell if they're shiny. Yeah, I do wish they would just, like, make more of the shinies not suck, to be honest. Because, like, while I'll take the obvious but not good-looking shinies over the not obvious ones, I would also rather they just all look really cool. More stuff like Rayquaza or Hisuian Braviary. So Galio's halfway dead. You're getting there. That is the point where it starts to hit harder, though. I don't think it hits harder, necessarily, but it's, um... It gets to hit twice. So I guess it's harder, but anyways. But yeah, so Galio is fire steel, right? Yep, okay. See, so yeah, I think ground type should probably hit that pretty hard. I'm trying to think of anything else that would hit fire steel pretty hard, though. Because usually, like, fire type is the go to for dealing with steel types, but. 
obviously it doesn't work as well when it, the opponent is also fire type. It's Fire Psychic or Steel Psychic. Oh, it might be Fire Psychic, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe, uh, here, let me just pull it up. I have Sarah B open. Psychic Steel, okay. What is, uh, Lunala? Psychic Ghost. Interesting, okay. I was about to say, I don't remember what the hell, like, at all, what, um... Lunala is. I think Sugalio is one of those Pokemon that I can just never remember what type it is. I always want to think that it's part fire type, but it... And then I all... Whenever I check it, it's like, oh, right, it's not, uh... for your Machoke and do it good because it's got Rock Tome. Against the, uh... Which one? Moltres, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna hurt Moltres quite a bit. The only concern is it being a uh, Moltres being part flying type is gonna be a bit of a problem, just because any flying type move is gonna hit uh, Machoke pretty hard. But realistically, it's a Moltres. As long as you have something with four times, you'll probably be okay. get this tonight. I'm not terribly hopeful because I'm not sure. I haven't decided if I'm going to go to 100 eggs or 150 tonight. The goal is to go to about two hours, but I do have some stuff that I need to wrap up tonight that's not on stream. But we'll see. We'll see how I feel when I get to 100. Because that is going to be a route. Uh, an hour and a half. But yeah, hopefully moving forward, just, uh... I'm gonna be streaming pretty much every day on the weekend, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I might do something uh, this Tuesday or Wednesday, just because I haven't been streaming a whole lot, so I kind of want to catch up. Because I do really want to, um, I really want to have all these Galarian forms by, uh, by the time the new games come out. I think I'm on, I'm on an okay pace right now, but I would like to have a little bit more breathing room on it. I 
And then when the games do come out, I'll probably start streaming more again. It's just I'm just a little bit burnt out right now. Partially just because burnt out with streaming, but also... I mean, I've been playing this game for like three years at this point. That's why it was so nice to have uh, all the stuff in Legends Arceus. I need to stream some more of that soon, too. Especially because of my last stream, I didn't get anything shiny, and that was kind of disappointing, considering how well shiny hunting usually goes in that game. Hey, what's up, Komodo Comeover? Thank you for the raid, man. Holy hell. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, everyone coming in, I'm just, uh, just breeding for a shiny, uh, shiny coughing so I can turn it into a Galarian Weezing. Hopefully I can try and get all of the, uh, Galarian forms, so like Weezing or Zigzagoon or stuff like that. Uh, try and get all of those before the new games come out. Did I ever get Registeel? No, I haven't touched that in like two months. Oh, I'm so... Just so burnt out with Registeel. I just can't with it. At some point, I'll go back to it. But it's just... Oh, I just can't. I don't... I can't... I don't think I'll ever do another full odds hunt. There's like some stuff I might have to do. Like, um... Shaman and Dark Rye and Arceus and um and the Gen 4 remakes. But if it's not something that like I know I'm pretty much gonna have to do in a game where it's full odds, I just I don't think I can again. It just sucks so much to to do like four thousand encounters. Granted, it also helps that I went into that hunt thinking that it was uh not full odds. I thought it was one in 1366, and then I found out later that I was not correct. Also hope you're having a good stream. Thank you, man. I assume you were uh, streaming before this. I hope that went well for you. It'd be a little weird if you managed to raid me with some people without streaming, but you know. I don't know how Twitch works sometimes, so... Yeah, one day, one day I'll go back to Registeel. I do want to wrap that one up on stream. I don't want to give up on that, but it's... I forget, what did I even get up to? I have the number here somewhere. 38... 3,852. Yeah, that's... Ugh. Which is sad, because it's still below odds on that. You just kidnapped a group of people and forced them to come over here? Hey, I'll take the views however I can get them. But no, seriously, thank you for the ray, man. I do appreciate it. I've not been, uh, not been streaming as much recently. Because as I just was mentioning, I've been kind of, kind of burned out with it. But... Hopefully I'm going to get back into a more uh, regular schedule here. Maybe that's what I'll do. If I manage to get all the glaring forms before uh, the new games come out, I'll just start exclusively hunting for Registeel until I get it. Hey, thank you, Smoka. I appreciate the follow, man. Because, yeah, I do want to get that Registeel. I don't want to just, like, stop hunting for it when I'm at 3,800 encounters, but also, like, trying to actually go and do that. Just, like, any time I think about it, it's like, you know what? I'd rather just not. The grind is real, yeah. Yeah, I got a lot more respect for people that do full odds shiny hunts. And also a lot more questions about their sanity. Hey, thank you, Masso. Appreciate it. So yeah, moving forward, I'm going to be trying to stream 
pretty much every day on the weekends. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, around like 9 p.m. till midnight-ish sometime. Today I'm not going to go as long because, again, I, I do have some stuff to work on right after I'm done with the stream tonight, but... Pretty much starting next week. I think I will do some sort of stream either Tuesday or Wednesday this week. Don't know what I'm gonna do for that stream yet. Uh, actually, you know what I'll do? Yeah, I'll just do more of this. Just try and get this knocked out and then we'll... Maybe sometime on the weekend I'll do stream something else. I do need to, like, kind of look at, like, how long I have right now before the new games come out. Try and get an idea, because, like, as long as I can... If I'm streaming regularly, I hopefully can get one shiny a week. But as long as, like, I'm still on a pace where I only need, like, three shinies a month to get all of the Galarian forms before Scarlet and Violet, I think that'll be a good pace. And then just if I get ahead on that, then I can try something else. By the way, thank you for that follow, Cami. Appreciate it. But yeah, I can't wait for the new games to come out. Just having more new Pokemon to play is going to be so nice. Because I really, really enjoyed Legends of Arceus. I liked uh, the Gen 4 remakes, but just the the level scaling on it kind of left a little bit to be desired, honestly. With how uh, how much of like a massive level spike there is between the eighth gym and. Um, and the Elite Four, especially with Cynthia. It's just like, ugh. Like, I like the challenge of Cynthia and the Elite Four. I just wish it would have been a little bit more of a slope up to that. These will be the ones that get you back into Pokemon you haven't played since Ruby. Yeah, I hadn't... Until, uh... Let's, the Let's Go game. So Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. I hadn't really played Pokemon at all since, um... Gen 4. Like, I played a little bit of Gen 5, I played a little bit of Gen 6, but Heart Gold... I say Gen 4, but I didn't even play, like, the original Gen 4 games. Heart Gold, Soul Silver were the ones that I played the hell out of. But yeah, hopefully Scarlet and Violet's good. Hopefully they've learned a lot with, um... between how Sword and Shield were received, as opposed to, like, the, um... the DLCs for it just being big open areas, basically. And then, obviously, of how well, um... How well Legends Arceus was received. Hopefully, they've learned a lot from that, and they've realized that they can do a lot better than they've been doing. Because, as much as I do love the core Pokemon formula, it is nice to have, you know, something mixing that up a little bit. Can't wait to sh see Shiny coughing. Yeah, the, the coughing line's pretty good for the shinies. Like, they're very distinct, but they're not, like, ugly. Like, they can be sometimes. Because, yeah, the blue and the purple works really well. Or not even, like, blue. It's like a turquoise, but not even, like, not quite. And then, yeah, Glare and Weezing's okay, but it's... 
Still not bad. Which is nice, because again, sometimes shiny is like, ugh. Like stuff like Weird Ear. Weird Ear was so disappointing. It might be my least favorite of the, uh, the Legends Arceus Shinies. The Hisuian, uh, whatchamacallit, oh, what was this, Sligu and a Gudra. I can remember Gumi, I can remember Gudra, I can remember the second form. But yeah, those ones were, like, not stellar, but at least it was, like, not awful. And they at least got a fun nickname out of it with Pudra, but, like... But yeah, Weird Ear was just like, ugh, it's like, it's not even like a bright green. Like, that's why I don't... I, I seem to be in the minority on this, but I really like a uh, shiny Espeon. Because, like, yeah, it's a green shiny, but it's like a very green shiny. And it just kind of makes it look like an alien. So at least stuff like that is like, yeah, when it's, you know, it feels like it's committing to the green, it's okay. But the stuff that's just like the light green, it's just like, eh. Why do you guys keep on doing this? No one likes these. Although speaking of that uh that kind of ugly green, there's a sticker design that I need to decide if I want to commit to putting onto. Actually, sorry, I shouldn't even say I need to commit to. I have already uploaded to Redbubble, but the uh the shiny hunter design <laughs> design it's literally text on a ugly green background. It's supposed to be meant as like a a bumper sticker or a slap sticker if you care at all about that stuff of cars, but. But yeah, I've been working on some more of that stuff. I probably should be careful about, um, saying working on that stuff because it's like I'm, I'm not an artist at all, so I'm not very good at making stuff like that. What's Fairy weak to again? Uh, weak to steel, weak to poison. Um, off the top of my head, I don't remember what else. It's immune to dragon. Are you putting down your artwork? All art is art. See, you say that, but like, for instance, the shiny hunter design is, again, literally just text on a green background. So like, uh, I appreciate you saying that, but also like, it's not great. I have another design that's like, at least I put a little bit of effort into, but also like I just look at it and it's like, mm, this needs something else. But yeah, I'm I'm not an artist at all. Like I would like to think I can design stuff sometimes. But, like, the actual art assets behind them, which I know sounds probably like a weird thing to say, but it's just, yeah, trying to, like, like, me trying to draw anything, it's just gonna be, like, stick figures, which sometimes might be funny, but you can't, like, have an entire red bubble page that's just stick figures. But I have had a couple good ideas. I have a couple more that I just, I need to work on a bit more. The thing is, like, I was doing some of that red bubble stuff for a while, and I just kind of stopped. Because, like, I just, I don't know. Have cool things in my head, but I cannot dry them, draw them for the life of me. Yeah, that's a lot of the same for me. But yeah, like, I've had a lot of ideas saved 
for a while for that stuff. Because it's just like, I know I have stuff that will be cool. I just need to actually sit down and make it. Like, even stuff that... Like, I, uh... I know that even my dumb ass can make. It's just actually bothering to do it. And finding the motivation stuff is just, like... Not always there. But I've been on a bit of a... A bit of a... I don't know, a kick on it, or however you want to say it. So... We'll see. Hopefully new stuff on the Red Bubble page. The other thing is, like, I don't... Because, like... In theory, right, it costs me nothing to post a bunch of, like, just, you know, basic, not necessarily good designs onto Redbubble. But also, like, it just, it feels not great to do that. Because it's like, uh, like, even if, you know, it's stuff that no one's looking at, it still feels like it's diluting down, you know, your creations a little bit when you have a bunch of stuff that you're not necessarily as proud of. Which is something that I probably just need to get over. It's just like, just start uploading more shit. Because every once in a while, you, you do... You are that blind squirrel that finds the nut. Though the other thing is that a lot of my stuff is... Very much tiptoeing on the line of... What's gonna get me, uh get stuff taken down by copyright people as well. Because, like, in theory, like, I have a couple of designs from uh, Mass Effect on there for the, uh, the Normandy uh, SR1 and SR2 stuff. Just like the, the text and the, you know, the SR1 or 2 designation. Which is, like, I don't think that's something that could get me into any trouble. But also, like... You know, it, it also depends on the company. Like, anything with Nintendo, yeah, that would probably be enough to piss them off. But also, like... I don't know, then I see a lot of stuff like streamers do on their streams, and... Nintendo seems to not care sometimes, so I don't know. But there's definitely some companies that you just, like, don't fuck around with that on at all. And there's other ones that are, like, actually understand. It's like, eh, whatever. It's not something that's really competing with our own merchandise, so who gives a shit? Our favorite copyright, yeah. Like, I love seeing other people, you know, really just, like, push the limits of some of that stuff. To an extent, there's obviously some stuff where it's like, okay, you literally are just, like, screenshotting a video game, fuck off. And not, like, doing anything cool with it, like, not even, like, using, like, the photo mode or something. Or just, like, ripping uh, promotional screenshots from their website. It's like, okay, well, you you can fuck off. You, you've taken that too far. But, like, anything that's, like, creative, I'm usually like, hey, that's cool. Whatever. But, obviously, some companies do not feel the same. How many tries am I predicting? Um, honestly, I'll say like 600, just because I've had some pretty good luck recently, so I wouldn't be surprised if this one goes over odds. Encoding overloaded, what the fuck? What? How? Okay, we'll just leave that down there. Okay. I don't know why OBS was telling me encoding overloaded. I don't see how that's possible. Because at least when I'm playing, like, Switch games and stuff, my CPU should not be getting anywhere near being overloaded. 
I didn't drop frames, so it wasn't a uh, bitrate issue. But anyway, so the stream stuttered a little bit there. Um, my apologies. But I'll just repeat it. I'm predicting around 600 eggs because I've had some good luck recently. Obviously, I would love to get it, like, with this one. Maybe I will. Um... Yeah, I mean, the last couple have been pretty good. I think Barfetched was 300, and uh, Ponyta was 100, I think, even. Let's see, where was it? Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, oh, I don't have that folder open. Okay, I'm not going to go looking for it right now. But yeah, the last couple have been pretty good. Overall, I've had pretty good luck with shiny hunts, to be honest. I've only had a couple that go over odds. I mean, even Registeel that's at 3,800, odds on that are, you know, just over 4,000. So it's, I'm still actually not over odds. As much as I want to complain about that one taking too long. But yeah, I think we'll just go up to uh, 100 eggs tonight. Kind of a shorter stream, but just... You know, I decided to stream something. Because I have been a little inconsistent recently. But, for what it's worth, some of that was out of my hands, so... Hopefully now that I've got that stuff all sorted out... I can just be a little bit more consistent. We'll try to be here for more streams. Well, I appreciate it, Smoka. Definitely appreciate everyone who comes in and watches and all that fun stuff. What did you find earlier, Skeleton? I'm assuming a shiny? Or maybe not? Oh, guess what I found out earlier. Okay, sorry. I probably should have actually read the entire message instead of just, like... Oh, hey, I'm doing that again. Whoop. Yeah, that's something that I like to do, where I'll hatch all the eggs and then I'll just be kind of autopiloting so I won't fucking go and get more eggs. Whoops. I have a holographic shiny Bisharp. Nice. Yeah, it's cool they added shinies to uh, to the trading card game. I, it's weird that it took them as long as it did, to be honest. Because I know that isn't like a brand new edition, but it's... It's fairly recent. Like, you would think they would have added that, like, years and years ago. What's up, Cold World? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, it'd be... It'd be cool if you can mystery gift uh, eggs. I don't think you can. Or mystery trade, or whatever they call it. Like, I know you're already kind of, you know... It's already a... Unknown to you Pokemon anyways. Or just like, you know, you don't know where you're receiving a return for the trade, but... It'd be cool to be able to do that with eggs, too. Didn't even know they did make shiny cards. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh... I forget when they started doing that. It's been... I want to say it, at the earliest, in Gen 7, they started doing that. It might be more recent than that, too. But, yeah, I don't know, it's...
let it just drop off on the floor. Yeah, it's annoying that there's not a, um... There's not, like, a mass release option in game. Especially because, like, you don't even need, um... Like, the paid subscription for Pokemon Home to do it. You can do it with a free subscription, so it's like... Why don't you just let us do it in the game? Like, don't get me wrong, I don't want to encourage them to make that a paid feature of Pokemon Home. Please, for the love of Christ, don't do that. Um, but like... It's just weird that they're not letting us do that. I guess you can do it in, um, Legends Arceus, so I don't know. Hopefully they figured it out. Although it's weird, because you could do it in, uh, the Let's Go games, too. And then they took it away in Sword and Shield. It wasn't in BDSP, but that's also kind of, you know, that... Those games are kind of weird just because they weren't developed by Game Freak. And it, expecting Ilka to do anything, I just... God, with how long the update for Pokemon Home took, I just... I really hope, and just like, some of the weird, not good issues that they had with BDSP, I really hope the Pokemon Company never gives them another... At least, like, mainline game or, like, remake or anything like that. If they want to make some weird, you know, spin-off, go for it, but... But yeah, hopefully that's something that doesn't go away again in Scarlet and Violet. Because, yeah, it just... It takes so long to release stuff in-game. Like, even the... The limit that there is in uh, Pokemon Home, where you can only release 100 at a time before you have to save and, uh, like, reopen the boxes. Like, that makes some sense, at least, because it's like, well, you know, don't let people accidentally release all their Pokemon, or maybe it's in some way to combat, like, malicious, you know, someone having another person release all their Pokemon for them or something like that. But, like, not being able to do it at all, it's just, like... You guys do realize how much time people spend breeding and all that, right, Nintendo? In Game Freak? Like... Come on. Oh, did I not have Shuffle on on this? No, I do. Huh. Okay, well, I should probably turn on Shuffle now, and I guess skip to the next song, because that song has like a 10 minute long outro. Uh, Cold World, without knowing where you're doing that, it's possible that um, you're doing it in a place where it kind of doesn't matter. Like, for instance, any like the um, any of the main game routes, like, you know, if we go over here, these Pokemon, time of day, date, all that stuff doesn't matter at all. It's only in the wild area that, um, at least in these games anyways. Uh, Sword and Shield. It's only in the wild area that the uh, time of day actually changes the Pokemon. And like weather and stuff. But yeah, it is annoying when, especially when it's like something with a really low spawn rate. As the older games used to be a lot worse with that. You have stuff like fucking Feebas or Oh god, what was it, Munchlax, where there was, like, one tree in the entire game that would actually spawn it, and it had a very low spawn rate, and also that tree changed for, like, every every different, uh, copy of the game. It's in the DLC? Okay. Yeah, it just, it depends. Uh, if you go to Cerebi, or, like, 
or Bulbapedia, any of that stuff. They should have, um... They'll tell you, like, what, uh, time of days and stuff or all that. Also, are you just talking, like, in the wild area in general or in, uh, raids? Yeah, sometimes when there's, like, the hyper-rare stuff and it's just, like, refuses to spawn, it's like, come on. But then also, sometimes they do that just to fuck with people. With the, uh, constantly spawning the same Pokemon. Because there is the, um... The April 1st, uh, event, Wild Area event, where, uh, every single, um, raid den was, um, every single raid den was a pseudo-wudo, no matter where you were doing it, it's like, okay. <laughs> like, funny as a one-day thing, but then, like, I didn't touch it again for, like, a couple weeks. I went to go do a different raid because I was looking for something specific. And it just kept spawning Sudo Wudu. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, right, there was that joke event. I need to download the new Wild Area stuff. Wild Areas, yeah. I mean, it's dependent on a time of day and then also weather, which there is, um,. In the main, which I guess doesn't really help you, but in the main wild area, there are specific dates that you can set it to that sets every area in the wild area to the same weather. I don't know if we ever found out there is anything equivalent for Isle of Armor or Crown Tundra. If, the, if we did, it, again, it would be on Cerebi or Bulbapedia or something like that. That was a quick egg spawn. Nice. But yeah, I was lucky with uh, when I was hunting for specific stuff in the wild area. I didn't have much trouble at um, finding at least stuff in like the grass and stuff. Some of the raid den stuff was a pain the ass, like, uh, Excel Gore and, uh, uh, whatever the, Escavalier, I think, is the other one. I think you're st stuck at 197 caught on the island. Ah, oh, you're pretty close then, at least. Because, do remember, I think, uh, let me check real quick. But some of the stuff in, uh, Isle of Armor... Oh, I guess only... Uh... No, because this has Urshifu and shit in it, doesn't it? But yeah, I mean, there are a couple of, um... A couple legendaries in that. But yeah, fortunately, you don't really need the uh, completed Pokedex for much in a uh, Isle of Armor or Crown Tundra. You do get the um, the Mark Charm in Isle of Armor, but I mean that's that's such like a minor thing, so it's just kind of nice to have. Yeah, 
But yeah, Crown Tundra, you just get, like, a bunch of, uh, XP candies and, like, some rare candies and stuff. Which, like, is kind of helpful, but... Well, I guess... I guess if you're at the point where you're still doing that stuff, it's super helpful. I just, I... My, uh, point of view is a little bit warped because since I've played the game a little bit, I have, you know... A few XP candies and rare candies and stuff. Just wanted to complete the full Pokedex for the first time. Well, also, some of that stuff might be version exclusive. So, like, there's some stuff that will only be in Shield and some stuff that will only be in Sword. So you might still have to trade for some of that stuff. Like, when I was working on mine, I that's why I bought, um... I bought Shield, even though I already had Sword, because there was a couple of Pokémon that I still was gonna need. Like, uh... I forget if it was, uh, Excelgore or Scavalier. But, like, one of them is only in, um... One of them's only in one version, one of them's only in the other. But, fortunately, with Pokémon Home being a thing, it's a thousand times easier to trade for stuff. And especially a lot of, like, the version exclusives, you'll see a lot of, uh, listings on the, uh... on the trade thing. That'll, like... It'll be, you know, wh whoever has what you need, and then you'll ha they'll be asking for whatever one is exclusive to your game. But yeah, that'd be something that I wish they would get rid of. I know they never will, because why would they when they just, it prints money for them, but god, I wish they would just stop doing multiple versions of the same game. Granted, it does look like um, Scarlet and Violet are going to be the most different of any two uh, two games in the or two versions of the same game. At least since um, Gen 5 of Black and White, but... It, I, it's still just... like I, I highly doubt it will be enough to justify having two different versions of the same game again. I don't know. But again, there's idiots like me who will probably end up buying both versions of the game, so I suppose I really can't complain too much when I'm part of the damn problem. I tried the new game out. If you mean uh, Legends Arceus, yes. I fucking love Legends Arceus. Definitely wasn't perfect, but it's been... It was one of the most fun Pokemon experiences I've had in a long while. It was nice to have something that was... Uh, very different, but also not like... Completely into different stuff. Like, it wasn't like Pokemon Snap or Pokemon, like, Mystery Dungeon. Like, it was still, you know, the battles were still the core gameplay, but being able to run around in the open world and just, like, literally throw the balls at Pokemon to try and catch them rather than just, like, pressing the button to select the ball was very interesting. Sora was your first game played since Gold. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like there were a lot of people that came 
back with a uh, sword and shield who had like played some of the old games and I feel like there were also a lot of people that came back with uh, Legends of Arceus as well But yeah, I don't know. I like, I like Sword and Shield a lot too. There, it definitely has its issues. The story is, well, the story in Pokemon is kind of stupid. I just wish it wasn't so incredibly stupid. Like I really liked uh, Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra, whereas like yeah, it was a simple story, but it wasn't like it was. It wasn't like the sword base game where it's just like you know just. Just like so obviously dumb. Just like, yeah, we need to like start the apocalypse because of a potential issue 10,000 years from now. <sighs> but, but like, I just loved how like goofy the DLC stories were. While still, like, having some story, but again, it doesn't need to be, like, a super serious, in-depth thing. Just not, like, not as insultingly stupid as Sword kind of felt like. Um, and then just, I don't know, the game was super linear, which I understand, like, that's not the end of the world, honestly, but also the caves could have had a little bit more to them. There could have been, you know, just a little bit more to it. I get that the wild area did a lot, but also after you explore the wild area for a little bit, it's kind of like, uh... Again, the DLC did, like, kind of all of that better, so hopefully it's, you know, better. Hopefully they've realized that, like, there's definitely ways they can make it a lot more fun and they will do a significant amount. And it seems like they understand that too because like the whole um whole of Gen 9 is going to be one big open world. Not like an empty world kind of like the wild area, but I mean like you'll be able to choose what town you go to in whatever order you want. They kill Ash in every movie. Yeah, I mean like again, it doesn't have to be a good story. It just can't be there's just something to how bad it was in Sword and Shield. I don't know. There was definitely some cool stuff they had with it. I honestly, I kind of liked how Hop, um... How, like, he, you know, has his whole, uh, character progression. Like, yeah, he's kind of whiny, but also with, like, eh... You know, it kind of makes sense and stuff, but, like... But yeah, I don't know. I'm excited for the new games. I'm hoping they're going to be pretty good. I definitely don't see them being any... I don't see how they could be worse than Sword and Shield, and again, it's not that I think that Sword and Shield are bad, it's just the ways that they aren't stellar. Are they can't those can't really get worse. Like, realistically, the story isn't gonna get any worse in Gen 9. Um, you know, it's the The world isn't gonna be any more linear. We already know it's not linear at all, you know, so it's just like and the stuff that's always good about Pokemon, just the core gameplay loop is... That's always gonna be pretty good. You'd have to try really hard to fuck it up. It is Game Freak, so, you know. They'll try for sure, but... It should be okay. Hop is like us, he just wants to catch them all and get shinies. Well, and he wants to be the champion, which, like... Obviously, there's only gonna be one champion, so, like... I don't know, I did... As annoying as he can be sometimes, I did like that they had a character kind of go through the, oh, I wanted to be the best, and I can't be, so I guess I'll just have to figure something else out. I 
Actually, I guess I should say, it is possible for uh, the story to be worse than Sword and Shield. It could be the post-game story of Sword and Shield, which... Oh my god, those fucking sword bird and shield word, or whatever the fuck those two stupid motherfuckers' names were. Oh my god. That, the post-game for this was so abysmal. Just like... I, it had to have been something they made in like the last two weeks before the game came out. And it's just like, oh crap, we need to add more content to the game. Here, intern, smash something out real quick for us. We don't care what the quality is, it just has to be something. Because it's just, oh my god. Oh. Like, I know I want more goofy characters, but like... And the thing is, like, if it had just been those characters, it might have been tolerable. But just like, it's literally just, okay, go to all the gyms and do a raid. Like, it just, uh, it was just, like, painfully, yeah, I don't know. So maybe, yeah, maybe I should be careful about saying I just want more goofy stuff, like the DLC stories. But I did really like, like, even with, um, what's his face, the dad in, uh, Crown Tundra. He's, like, a little bit much, but, like, it's not the end of the world. I don't know. I just, I really enjoy the stories in Crown Tundra and Isle of Armor, honestly. There is a little bit of, you know, fourth wall breaking. And it just, it didn't take itself seriously, but also it wasn't just stupid. Like, it was just fun. I don't know. I'm probably, like, the worst person to describe that type of stuff. All right, let's get a couple more A's here. I'm going to wrap up at 100, uh, 100 Atches, so. But I'll definitely be back again, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not going to 100% commit because I've been so irregular with my streams lately, so there's a good chance that I just don't. Um, but definitely Friday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday I'll be back pretty much the same times. Uh, start around 9 p.m., wrap up around midnight. And just a lot of shiny hunting. We'll probably be mixing mixing in a little bit of other stuff too, but primarily shiny hunts. Maybe work on hunting for a uh, alpha unknown in a. Um... Okay, go ahead and pull these out of my party before they hatch. Uh, hunt for those in a uh, Legends Arceus. Because that's another thing I would like to wrap up before uh, the new games come out. Just trying to get all of the different unknown forms. Alpha. I can't believe we didn't see any alphas in that last, uh, the last stream that I did of that. Or any shinies, either. Especially because usually Legends Arceus is handing out shinies like candy. Hell, I started a new playthrough of it, and I had a shiny within, like, 20 minutes, so... Like... But I suppose with how generous that game is, anyways, you can't really complain too much. out real quick. Wish we could increase shiny chance even more. Yeah, I mean, there's... I don't foresee um, breeding getting any better than 1 in 512. But yeah, usually with, like, encounters, there's, like, some special way. There kind of is with encounters in this, but it's, like, not very good. And also, every Poke YouTuber 
just decided to ignore what the Pokemon company literally said the method was and just make up their own shit. And so no one understood how it worked until like about a year ago, which was hilarious and stupid at the same time. But yeah, I really like Legends Arceus with the like the outbreaks and stuff, having that method. In theory, I like chaining in BDSP, but the fact that you can just, like, have a chain break without doing anything wrong is infuriating. Especially with how many you have to chain in a row to get the best shiny odds. Because what is it, only like a 5% chance to get up to a chain of 40 or some shit like that? Which is just like, god, why? Like, you see, oh yeah, 93% chance for the chain to continue with every step of it. But a 7% chance of failure 40 times is a pretty good chance of failure. But yeah, I, I like the, when they do the, uh, just having different methods. I'm interested to see what the method's gonna be in, um, in the new games. All right. So, no shiny today. That's alright, though. I wasn't really expecting one. I really, really need to go and clean out my boxes. I need to remember to do that before the next stream, because it's looking a little bit full. Just a little full. I need to go clean this out really bad. <laughs> yeah, so next stream... If Yeah, I mean, assuming I stream Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll just do more of this, because... Again, I need to work on more of these. Let me pull up the Pokedex Tracker. I also need to move away from the Pokedex Tracker website because it it's never getting updated. This site is dead. There's no point in me having any hope for it. Um, let me see. Galarian Farms. I always forget how many more I need. Uh, 11 more, and we have about three months. A little bit more than that, so... I'm still on a good pace, but yeah, I definitely need to get going on these so I can make sure I can get all my shiny Galarians before the new games come out. Um, thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Like I said, try to. St I'm gonna be streaming pretty much every weekend uh, on the nights, 9 p.m. to 11 p or 12 p.m. rather. It's about 11 p.m. for me right now, so just do the math for whatever those times are. Um, yeah, thank you everyone who watched. I really appreciate it. Komodo with the raid. I absolutely appreciate it, guys. Um, but yeah, go check out the YouTube channel. Pretty much all my VODs go up there. Sometimes when they're really just boring and nothing happens, I don't upload them. But, like, stuff like this, I always do anyways. Um, yeah, Redbubble page. Hopefully gonna be uploading more stuff to that. None of it's good. But, you know, if you want a stupid sticker and don't really care if it's of any quality and don't mind overpaying for red bubble prices sure go ahead don't let me stop you um but no seriously go check it out i do have some some stuff that i am actually kind of proud of or i think is kind of cool um but yeah other than that uh thanks everyone for watching again and i will see you guys next time